Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayyid. To follow along with me, download this workbook using the link in the video description. There are two worksheets in this workbook. See it and do it. Do it is for you to practice. See it is for me to demonstrate. Now, we are going to discuss nested functions in this video. For the people who are watching this video for the first time, I request you to kindly go ahead watch my previous video so that you get a hang of what we are about to discuss because I will be discussing the functions that we have discussed already in the previous videos. Now what is nested functions? Nested functions is a concept where you can combine different functions and formulas to produce your desired result. Imagine you have to produce some kind of data where you are required to pull some chunk of information from one column and some chunk of information from another column and another workbook and then you bring them all into different columns and then try to combine them it will take a lot of time and effort for you now we can simplify this we can use all that combinations of functions and formulas and put them in one cell and have your results produced how do we do it we will take a look in a moment. In this video, we will try to produce an email ID for the employees listed here. We will use a combination of ampersand and a left function to produce an alias name. And then we will use ampersand to stitch that uh, thing with a domain name to produce a cool email ID for our employees. We will then put all these things into a lower function to display the output in lowercase. Let's take a look. Let me select the cell that is D2 and then what do I need to do? We will first extract few letters from the first name. Let us try putting the first three letters. You can use two, four, three, whatever combination you feel like doing. So for me, I'm going to use left function, select the cell A2 try grab three letters from the first name press enter I have the first three letters of my first name now I also need to have the last name stitched with this one so how do I do it I simply click at the end of the left function in the formula bar and then bring in the ampersand select the cell B2 press enter see that they both are now combined now I need to stitch the domain name at the end of this one now I will select the cell again click at the end of the formula we have just produced and bring in the ampersand one more time because I need to stitch something to it now in the double quotations whatever you've given double quotations will be taken as it is it will not be executed so I need to give out at the rate zaha.in that's the domain I would like to stitch press enter there we go we have the complete email address but wait there are some letters in uppercase and lowercase I need to bring it down I would like everything to be in lowercase so I will select that cell one more time and this time I will click right after the equal to sign and before the beginning of the left function in the formula bar and type in lower open bracket click towards the end of this function close the bracket now press enter there we go we now have a new email ID produced using a combination of lower function left function and ampersand in order to complete all the other email IDs, I will simply select the cell, double click on the drag handle or drag it down using the mouse click. Let me double click. There we go. I have all the other email IDs generated perfectly. Now, this was a very simple demonstration of nested functions. We will be having more complicated and complex nested functions as we move into the course. So sit tight, relax, and we will rock together. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue your learning with Sayyid.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Love you all. Have a nice day.